Hey guys, so we are testing a lot of makeup, especially blushes today. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. Cause I am testing all of these guys out on my face. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did that sound so wrong? Let's go. Okay, so first thing we're gonna try out is Juvia's Place Radiance Booster. I got the shade 7.5. I think this is Alexandria. Did I get it because that name sounds sexy? Alexandria. So I've tried everything in this video already except the new blushes from LYS and Patrick Ta. So I kind of have a feel for everything. I'm actually gonna do Juvia's Place on one side and then Say's Glowy Super Gel on the other. Just so you can see the difference, I have a feeling, I haven't tried the e.l.f. Halo Glow, I have a feeling this is pretty much the same thing as the e.l.f. Halo Glow. But after playing around, I do like the Say Glow more. The first thing I already like more about the Say Glow is the pump. And I like that one pump is enough and also there's really no shade or pigment in this it's truly just like a sheen and a glow so this one when i got it i said like oh i'm probably never gonna use this again because i'm an oily girl and i don't really need more shine but i have been using this like crazy i am actively looking for it when i'm doing my makeup i have a feeling the full size one since the pump is bigger you could probably cover your whole face with one pump or maybe one and a half because this is more of a watery consistency compared to the juvia's place where it's almost like a foundation concealer consistency so when i tested out the juvia's place the first time my instant thoughts were like oh my skin looks really oily and that's when i decided to compare the two and honestly with swatches and i feel like even the camera will show that they practically look the exact same but i can tell a difference i can tell this is softer this is more like natural i'm not a fan of these wands i don't know why everyone's doing the wands lately and it's hard to mix this with your foundation compared to a pump where you can literally pump this into your foundation versus this where you either have to layer it on first it feels like i'm putting on another layer of concealer or foundation with this i thought the shade looked lighter than my skin tone but then when blended out it's deeper than my skin tone and i think this is the third lightest shade so just like elf the range option isn't that good and i feel like it's also a very yellowy range like elves see and like i don't like that it's giving me another layer of foundation or concealer i don't know if you can tell but i can tell even on the camera that this is a little bit more yellow for some reason this just looks greasier i don't know if you can see what i'm saying because when i go like this it right it looks pretty much the same this looks more lifting and I don't want to say airbrush, but it just, it flows better. This one full size one ounce is 28 and this full size one ounce is $25. But I feel like I would use more with the Juvia's Place because I'm constantly like dipping in and adding more. But with the Say Glow, like one pump is enough. I feel like you just might as well go for the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I have a feeling they're practically the same thing. So I'm going to be using my House Labs foundation over these two. I tried playing around with this with the About Face foundation. I was like, oh dude, that's stupid because this is a dewy glowy foundation. So obviously it made it worse. And then with the Juvia's Place matte foundation, they kind of canceled each other out. So I feel like the best bet for me personally, if I was gonna wear something like this is to go with House Labs because she's like directly in the middle. Okay, now that I put some makeup on, I mean, can you see the difference? Which one you like more? Again, even in the camera, I feel like I can see it. Like it looks a little bit more greasy and this looks more glass. But yeah, just let me know because to me, I can see a difference. Okay, so next new makeup launch that we are trying out are some lashes from House of Lashes. This is from their Feline collection. These were like, I'm not gonna say made for me, but I love cat eyes. I love any kind of feline eye, even glasses. Like I love the glasses like um, Ellie Wong. I love her feline glasses. Like I've always been trying to look for glasses like that. There's Femme Fatale, there's Kitty Cat, and then there's Purr. I think I'm gonna try Purr. See, look how thin that band is. Something like this, that thick is more what I'm used to which I hate, but that's what I have in my lash collection right now. That's exactly what I want in a lash. That's purr. I cannot roll my R, so I cannot say purr. <laughs> House Labs just launched their PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze. I got mine in the shade Guava. I have been wearing it this whole time. It's probably not that noticeable. It looks like my lips, but glossy. And when I saw the picture, I'll put the picture right here, of the lip shades, I'm like, girl, 
that that's not what it looks like on my lips at all. <laughs> you lie, why are you lying? <laughs> I was so confused when I first read their claims and I even commented but never got an answer because on their claims it says, get burn-free lip plumping after two weeks of continuous use. So I was like, okay, after two weeks of continuously using this, will that mean it'll stop burning? Or does that mean your lips are gonna be plump? I wasn't sure if this had a burn and the burn would die down, but there is no burn at all. So I'm guessing it's the plumping that will happen after two weeks of continuous use. And I'm kind of like, do I wanna wait two weeks to see a plumping? The only thing I see this being for is if you are a lip gloss girly, you wear lip gloss every single day and you don't mind the two weeks for a plump, then sure, why not? But I'm like, is it really worth waiting? And then what happens? Is that plump there just for the day? Is it there continuously? Again, you're just going to be having to use this every single day to maintain that lip plump. So I wore it every single night for two weeks so that it could really soak in through the night because I noticed when I wear this during the day, around the third hour, it is practically gone. So after the first hour, the gloss, here, let me put this on, the gloss, the shine is gone, but the stickiness is still there. Uh, the second hour, there's just a little bit of stickiness. You can tell it's going away. But I notice when I sleep with this on, since I'm not continuously smacking my lips together, it stays on longer. So I have been sleeping with this on to really get the full effects of the lip plumping for over two weeks straight. And just as I expected, nothing really happened. I will put a picture here. This is what it looked like my first day. And then maybe next to it, I'll put what it looked like today. I personally do not see any difference. I do trust that if you do continuously use this that it'll eventually happen. But again, I don't want to wait two weeks. I did order the Patrick Ta to go against this, but the package was shipped in late. Ooh, this smells good. Like bubble gum? This is a lot more light pink than the House Labs one. The color actually covers both my lips. I already prefer Patrick Ta's over the House Loves one. The mint is there, but it's not a painful mint. Glad that the color actually covers both my lips. House Loves one just makes it look glossy. Do I smell my lips? So which one do I like more better, babe? The Patrick Ta one or the House Loves one? House Loves. No! <laughs> That's what you kept saying, House Loves. The Patrick Ta one, the one I have now. I never heard you say Patrick's Ta once. Patrick Tao, <laughs> but I was saying how the House Labs, like the pigment doesn't even cover the color of my top lip, but then the Patrick Ta pigment covers both my lips, which I like. Honestly, I feel like it's one or the other. They're the same price. Oh wait, this one's 7 ml and the Patrick Ta is 9 ml. I would honestly just say go with the Patrick Ta. For me, I actually like the e.l.f. lip oil more. They are the same size. I think this is $8 and this is $26. Again, the only difference is you're gonna have no lip plumping. It's a little bit thicker. Thicker and heavier sounds bad, but I like it more because it feels like a nice gentle hug, soft pillow sitting on top of my lips. This is just a tiny bit thicker than the House Labs. Okay, so let's go with my favorite out of everything it is the new Tower 28 Lip Softy. I am in love with her. Oh my gosh. So again, I have been using her for two weeks straight and that's why I also feel like the house labs should have worked more because this is the longest my lips have ever been this moisturized and least crusty in my entire life. So I feel like she gave the house labs an edge to work her magic and plumping, but I feel like that didn't really happen. Here are my initial thoughts when I opened this up. Dude, are we back to the 90s, the early 2000s kids lip gloss? $16 for this? Okay, there's nothing unique about this. It's liquidy, nothing special. Three hours later. Um, it's been a few hours. My lips are still chapped. I sleep with it on. I wake up. Oh, I was just impatient. <laughs> I woke up. My lips were not chapped at all. There was no crust. It's like magic. When I'm not paying attention, my crust is gone. For my crust to be gone, I need to peel it off. It's so funny how I was complaining so much in my lip video about having absolutely no lip balm that actually works for me because they either just sit on top of my lips doing nothing or they make my lips worse. And then like a week later, this was launched. I gave this girl such a hard time just because she didn't instantly fix my lips on day one, but on day two and day three, I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I love you. This is kind of why I'm not a huge fan of first impressions because so many times with first impressions, I'll love it. And then the more I use it, I won't like it. 
or I'll hate it the first time and then love it afterwards. So yeah, I wanted to give most of these a good try. If I did a first impressions of this, I would probably be like, oh hell no, like don't buy it. $16 for our typical lip balm. That's what I always said, but no, after using this for two weeks now, I'm in love with her. So yes, I recommend this if you have really dry, nasty, cracked lips like I do. This is the new Nude Sticks Nude Screen Blush Tint SPF 30. I was very intrigued because I was like, oh, that's amazing that there's a blush with SPF 30. But if you're already a serious person about sunscreen, that wouldn't matter because you're gonna be using your SPF anyways, but sure, why not add a little bit of more protection? So I got this in the shade Pink Sunrise. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I can just see like some blonde, California surfer girl. She's about to go surfing. She puts on her sunscreen or her BB or her CC cream and then she uses this as her blush. I love that when I first opened it, I didn't even bother to look for a brush. Like my immediate instinct was to just put this on my fingers and tap it. The only thing I don't like, which is kind of my problem with blushes in general, is that the initial color is what I want but of course when you blend it out it kind of looks nothing like that shade and it just annoys me because again for the millionth time about me bitching about this when you blend it out so many blush shades just end up looking the same and this has that same vibe let me take off my tower 28 lip balm so i can put this on my lips too so it's like a light mauve see and that is the color i want to show up on my cheeks so they have three pictures of different blush locations. I'll put them up. So this one, let's do the baby doll O blush. Apply blush on apples of the cheeks and blend upwards toward under eye. Provides a lifting effect while it brightens complexion and corrects under eye circles. I don't know about that, but... <laughs> okay, now let's try the temple C blush. Apply blush from the ends of brows close to temples in a C shape. Okay, so I'm guessing like this. Lifts the face, provides a natural glow, and adds definition to the face without contouring. Oh, I actually really like that one. Okay, next let's do the W blush, where it looks like a W. Just left the beach effect that provides a sun flush glow. Let's pretend we just got out the beach. See, and there is the W effect. So I feel like this is perfect for my natural makeup girlies because it's just so easy to put on. It takes like three seconds to dab it in and then you're out. You see how this shade is staying on my lips and it's not becoming a completely new shade and it even looks different than when it's swatched on my finger. It looks so bright pastel pink. So on my finger it looks mauve. On my lips it looks pastel pink and then on my cheeks I don't even know what I would say it looks like on my cheeks because it's not showing up that much. But on my cheeks, it doesn't look like this color or this color. Like they're all three completely different colors. Moral of the story is I like it, but it's not for me and my life. Okay, next we are going in with KVD's Good Apple Blush Balm Duo. This is in the shade Elusive Orchid. So when I got this, I thought this was gonna be really peachy but this is really pink. And I thought this was gonna be a light peach, but it's more light brown. This is very natural. This shade is more of what I would wear. This is a little bit too obvious. I feel like bright pinks always look off with my skin tone. So when I got this, I was like, oh, okay, like the colors are not as amazing as I thought they were. I don't know why I was amazed. I feel like it's kind of like a no sh Sherlock that the KVD number 25 brush these two are just like made for each other and like I said you would think like well no duh but they don't sell this anymore on their website and I noticed on Instagram they were using this to go with this and I'm like guys if you're gonna show this brush using this then please sell it again it's just a match made in heaven like she glides so well going down I can't really do that with any of my other blushes See, like, it's not satisfying because it's not a long vertical line. But with this, she just slides beautifully. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird, but it's so satisfying for me that I don't have to, like, gently tap. I can do one nice slide and get the perfect amount of pigment. I'm just sliding her down. It's like a magnet. It's like the perfect stickiness balm that attracts her. Like the others, you kind of have to work a little bit more. They're not this creamy. I'm gonna actually put a lot this time so you can really see what it looks like. Even though I put this on and I was disappointed that 
it wasn't a peach, I was still really enjoying it. I know this is not a new thing, but I was just like, dang, I really wish blushes, especially the cream ones, would be like this where you can choose between two because I am never gonna finish any of my cream blushes. It would be nice to have two shades in one. I really hope they come out with more shades because I want to buy more. Again, in person, I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of pink blush, but on the camera, it doesn't look like that. So I really want to frighten you guys with the blush amount. <laughs> You can see how pink this is. Almost leaning towards a red. And actually like that this is really creamy and sticky because the sponge does collect it nicely. A lot of the times when I try to clean up some of the cream blushes with a sponge, either it will completely take it away or it just messes it up. But this is working so well with a sponge. Again, it's that texture, that sticky, that grippy formula for some reason, like it just works. And it also works perfectly with this because this is also like dual sided. Again, these two match made in heaven. KVD, please bring back your number 25 brush because I will buy three more of this. See, like I can feel the pull. Yes. This one's more brown terracotta -y. I hate working with cream and liquid blushes, but this is one of the easier ones to work with because the slide gives me the perfect amount. I don't feel the need to like rub it off like I do with other blushes. And I feel like since the brush works so well with airbrushing the blush, like you can't really mess up. So there you have the shades. Again, I really hope they launch more colors, especially an actual peach, since again, I thought this was leaning towards a peach because, oh my gosh, I enjoy using this blush. It doesn't scare me. It's not intimidating like the others. It flows and works so well with my favorite blush brush. Love this. Okay, now let's go in with the new Cream Glow Blush Stick from LYS Beauty. I got mine in the shade Curvy, which is Perfect Peach, of course. She's a lot deeper, like she's more red, or at least what it looks like. Ooh, she's so pretty and glowy. Oh, well, duh. It says glow stick. I have a feeling like I'm gonna like this more than the Patrick Ta because of the glow. I'm just gonna tap it onto my e.l.f. small stipple brush. I'm honestly not a big fan of their actual blushes. Like, I feel like these are hard to blend compared to my other creams, and then they get patchy and they kind of get stuck in one area compared to the others. And this is way more creamier. And it's blending out a little bit better. Oh, I love that. It doesn't blend away as smoothly and creamy and as effortlessly as my other cream blushes. Like the KVD one blends way easier and smoother, but she gets there. It just takes a tiny bit more time. Okay, I love her. It's so annoying because in the camera, it doesn't look like I'm wearing any blush. But in person, like I can see the peach perfectly. And that is the perfect amount of peach. I would prefer maybe just a tiny bit lighter than this, but actually looking at in the mirror, like it's not too orangey, it's not too red. I love the glow. So yeah, I'm loving the KVD formula a little bit more. She's just more fun to work with formula wise, but I'm loving this shade more on the LYS. I love the glowiness it's giving. See, like, look at that, look at that glow. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, I am loving her too. That's what she looks like up close. Let's go in with She's the Moment from Patrick Ta. This is one of the three of his new blush releases. These are supposed to be more natural, lighter, actually wearable shades. So I was like, okay, that's perfect for me. Oh my gosh, that powder is so soft. Wow. And let's watch the cream. This is the powder and then this is the cream. So the cream blush gives me that same vibe as the KVD. Once I tap it in, like it feels like a magnet, like it gets stuck there, like a fly that gets stuck in a sticky trap kind of situation. But the KVD one is a little bit stickier. Not like stickier, but like where you get trapped into it more. Okay, so I'm gonna follow his technique that he likes to do, which is to go in with a brush with the powder first and then layer the cream on top with a sponge. Honestly, I would just be happy with this. I do not have a peach powder blush. I prefer my powder blushes, but since I have a great cream peach blush, I never felt the need to get a powder peach blush, but that is just the powder by itself. See, I'm good. I'm good with this. Like, 
I would be super happy with this. I am liking this shade more than the LYS one. I wish I could have tested these out for a bit like I did with the other makeup products. That is beautiful just the powder. See, this is why these duos intimidate and scare me because I'm like, do I really need both? I can survive with just one. And then the fact that, I mean, you don't need to layer, but the fact that's what it's made for is to layer. I'm like, oh, now I have to layer? <laughs> yeah, see, that's more like bright pink. I feel like I don't even need a brush with this. I can do what I did with the nude sticks and just tap it, like, taps away very nicely. Okay, I feel like that didn't really show any of a difference so let's try it on top of the powder she's more of a pink and the powder's more peachy now the blush is looking more pink it's kind of on the verge of the kvd pink one i just put on a more subtle version of that so i think that's cool that like if you are not feeling a glow that day you can just stick to the powder and if you do want some doingness you can go in with the cream personally i feel like that's a little bit too much for me i kind of expected to be more instantly in love with this i did not expect anything of the lys blush and then when i used it i was like oh my gosh i freaking love this but again i think it's because I knew what I was gonna get out of the Patrick Ta one. I didn't know what I was gonna get out of the LYS. Okay, so out of all the new products, let's name what I love because I just want to talk about them some more. Tower 28, amazing. Go buy it, try it out. Don't be impatient like me and be like, oh my gosh, this feels like any other lip balm. Like, what's so different about it? If you have nasty, dry, cracked lips like I do, try that girl out because she's not like the other lip balms where they make your lips worse or they do absolutely nothing like she's actually working house labs i don't need again if i wanted a lip plumping i would just get one where i don't have to wait for over two weeks love the lashes i'm so excited to finally have lashes that aren't heavy wasn't a huge fan of the juvia's place if my goal was to find a cheaper dupe of the charlotte tilbury one then I would just go with e.l.f. because the e.l.f. one's $10 cheaper. The shades seem to be in the same range. This one's a no for me. Okay, now on to these babies because these girls are all so different from each other. With these guys, it depends on what you're looking for. Again, this is not for me just because when I do put on blush, it's just for videos. She needs to be worn outside, not even because of the SPF. It's just since she's so subtle and light and dewy. So again, nothing wrong with her. It's just, she's not for me. This girl made me so happy. As you can see, she works perfectly with my favorite blush brush. I love that there's two shades to choose from. I love the packaging. I love the texture. I love that I can easily clean it up with a beauty blender. For some reason, out of all my cream blushes, like looking at them, she's the one who intimidates me the least because either you have to work really fast or there's way too much pigment if you put too much the first round like it's hard to get rid of so yeah cream and liquid blush is always scary but she doesn't and i would definitely throw her into my favorite blush category oh yes i was shocked that i actually really liked her i like that she's glowy i do like the first layer but again for some reason on camera i feel like you couldn't see it in the bathroom i could see i was like oof that's really peachy it's a deeper peach than i would go for but i just love the glow I would actually prefer this over these. And then Patrick Tawan. See, I don't even know how to describe him. I feel like everyone's just in a different playing field where I can't like compare them to each other because they're not the same thing. So with him, I don't know what to say. Like, it's not bad. I feel like I just have no comment. Okay, let me, let me like stew here for a minute. Two seconds later. So I love the powder. I wouldn't mind just having this as a blush. Perfect launch of more subtle, more natural looking blushes compared to his others. And then I was like, oh, you know, I don't need this. And then when I added this on top, I was like, oh, that looks even more natural because since it gives it more life because it's dewy. But I kind of don't like that this added a little bit more pink to this because I wanted the full peach look. I need to get used to the formula before I can really say anything. I don't know how to feel about him. Again, it's not bad. I love it. Like it looks beautiful and glowy and natural and like airbrushed. The LYS one doesn't look airbrushed. I feel like I'm never making sense with so many of these videos, but Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which blush you like the most because I'm just all over the place with these blushes. <laughs> and yeah, go try out the Tower 28 Lip Softy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.